We love Coach O, and we are hoping tonight he will pull out all the stops and score a W. And so is his mama. WGNO's Peyton Lo Cicero joins us live to tell us about Coco O. Peyton. Coco O is a spitfire and full of energy, and Coco, like her son, loves football, especially LSU football. It was so easy to see the similarities between the two after hearing all of the stories about little Ed Ogeron, and what she said Ed was like as a child, that might surprise you. Down on the bayou is where Coach Ed Ogeron spent his days as a little Cajun kid. This small town of 7,306 people is known for their waterways, southern hospitality, and a special bond between a mother and a son. It was easy to raise it. I had to tell him, don't do that every once in a while, but you know, just growing up. I was young then too, so you know, we were all, I think we were all growing up together but it was all family. Listening to the many stories that Coco likes to share, it was easy to see what molded the beloved Tiger coach into the man that he is today. Everything was practice. He didn't mind going to practice. You know, like you hear the kids, oh, I don't want to go to practice. No, he was always, always the first one there. Like he still is today. <laughs> Christmas might be over, but Coco still has one more thing left on her wish list. You can see right here, she's still looking for a national championship. One of her favorite mama moments was after the victory over Alabama this season. And he looked at me straight, we won, mama. No matter where Coach O goes, one word follows him to every football field. Pride, a lot of pride. But I almost always expected that. It, whenever they played football here, we won the national championship. We were always in the playoffs. It, it like follows him. Coco was at every game that Ed played in as a child, and she's at every game that he coaches at still to this day. And later tonight, she will be inside that Superdome, hoping to cross off one more thing off of her wish list. And Seth, I see that you're wearing your purple for good luck. I'm wearing my tiger earrings for good luck. So let's hope that we all get what we want, an LSU win. <laughs> Absolutely. Go Tigers. Thanks so much, Peyton. Well, it's